Welcome to pre-math. In this video tutorial, we have got this square A, B, C, D as you can see in this figure such that the area of this green triangle is 34, the area of this yellow triangle is 51, and the area of this uh, blue triangle is 68. And now we are going to calculate the area of this purple triangle. So let's go ahead and get started with the solution and we can see that the area of this blue triangle is two times the area of this uh, green triangle. Now let's recall the area of a triangle formula area equals to a half time base time height as we can see that this length and this length they are equal since they are in the square a b c d so then we can see that if i say that this side a e is a then this side length c f is going to be two times a and now let's suppose that this side length is t times a where t is some constant and then we can see that this whole length is going to be simply t a plus 2 a and since we are dealing with this square a b c d and one of the side lengths is t a plus 2 a this side length and all these sides are equal in length so therefore this side length is going to be t a plus 2 a and this side length is going to be t a plus 2 a and now we can see that this side length this e a is a and this total length is t a plus 2 a so then this length d e is going to be simply t a plus a and now let's focus on this green triangle a b e and now we know that the area of this triangle is 34 and here's the area of a triangle formula area equals to a half time base time height so i can write a half time in our case base is t a plus 2a times height is a equal to 34. Now let's go ahead and remove this fraction. I'm going to multiply by 2 on both sides. And here 2 and 2, this is gone. So we ended up with t a plus 2a times a equal to 68. And here we can see we can factor out a so we ended up with t plus 2 inside parentheses times a and now here a and a if we multiply them we are going to get a square times t plus 2 equal to 68 let me go ahead and isolate a square so i'm going to divide both sides by t plus 2 and t plus 2 on this side and we can see that this t plus 2 and t plus 2 is gone so our a square turns out to be 68 divided by t plus 2 and let me go ahead and call our this as equation number 1 and now in this next step let's focus on this yellow triangle def and we know that the area of this triangle is 51 and here's the area of a triangle formula so area of this one is going to be a half time we are going to write down t a plus a this side and times this side which is t times a equals to 51 and now let me go ahead and remove this fraction by just multiplying by 2 on both sides so this 2 and 2 is gone so we ended up with the t a plus a times t a 
equals to 51 times 2 is 102 and now if we distribute this one we are going to get t square a square plus t a square equals to 102 and here we can see that a square is in common I can bring it outside we got t square plus t equals to 100 and 2 and now let me go ahead and isolate this a square so I'm going to divide both side by t square plus t on this side and t square plus t on this side and we can see this t square plus t and this t square plus t is gone so we ended up with a square equal to 102 divided by t square plus t and now let me go ahead and call this as an equation number two and here's our next step let's go ahead and compare our these two equations equation one and two since the left hand side is a square so we can equate the right hand side as well so i can write this thing as 68 divided by t plus 2 equals to 102 divided by t square plus t now in this next step let's go ahead and reduce these fractions i multiply both sides by 1 over 34 on both sides so we got 2 over t plus 2 equals to 3 divided by t square plus t and now let's go ahead and cross multiply so we got when we multiply 2t square plus 2t equal to 3t plus 6 and now in this next step I brought everything on the left hand side and after reducing everything we got 2t square minus t minus 6 equal to 0 and now we can see that this is a quadratic equation and we are going to solve it by factoring so the possible factors are going to be 2t plus 3 times t minus 2 equals to 0 and here we separated these two factors set them equal to 0 so our t value turns out to be negative 3 over 2 and t equals to 2 but we know that t cannot be negative so therefore we are going to reject this t value so therefore we are going to accept t equals to 2 value and here's our next step let's go ahead and substitute this t equals to 2 value in this equation 1 and here's our equation 1 a square equal to 68 divided by t plus 2 let's substitute t by 2 so a square equal to 68 divided by 2 plus 2 a square simply turns out to be 17 value and here's our next step let's go ahead and calculate the area of this square a b c d and we know that the side length of this square is t a plus 2a and now let's recall the area of a square formula area equal to s square where s represents the side length so area of this square is going to be simply t a plus 2a and then square and as we can see we have a's in common so I brought a outside so that is going to become a square times t plus 2 square now we know that our a square value is 17 and our this t value is 2 let's go ahead and substitute those values we are going to get 17 times 2 plus 2 square and after simplifying everything our area of this square turns out to be a 272 and here's our final step let's go ahead and calculate the area of this purple triangle and we know that the area of this purple triangle is equal to the area of this whole square minus the combined area of this uh, green yellow and blue triangles so let's go ahead and calculate the area of this purple triangle we know the area of this uh, 
square is 272 minus the combined area of the green plus this yellow is 51 and the blue is 60 Eight. So we got 272 minus 153. So our answer turns out to be area, turns out to be a 119. So thus the area of this purple triangle turns out to be a 119 square units. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.